Interface Description Here is what you see when Indico Builder starts. There is the Start page. On the left, you have the main command to open or create a new project. And on the right, you have two important parts. One is the sample project. If I click here, I just see a sample project open. I can go back to View, Start Page to have again the new Start Page displayed. Another important part is the link to the Support Center. It's a site where you can see and have information about Indico Support Ticket and a knowledge base. Boxes Description Part 1 Let's go back to the main Indico page. I've opened this sample project and, on the right side, I see the project with three main areas the conformed hierarchies, the data marts, and the areas. If I click on conformed hierarchy, for example, and I click on any item, the property area gets populated here where you have different properties that you can change. Boxes Description Part 2 A very important part of the Indico Builder is the validation. You can see in this corner a validation summary. While you're free to add or change anything in a flexible way, if you make errors, from a validation point of view, you can see an error. For example, if I delete the name here, this error appears saying that an attribute must have a name. DFM Intro The validation engine comes from a formalism called DFM, Dimensional Fact Model. That's a university standard that's been ideated around 10 years ago and has been studied all these years. This ensures a high level of quality and performance of the resulting data warehouse. Dimension Types There are two kinds of hierarchies, local and conformed hierarchies. Local hierarchies are local to the fact, for example, the profit center, while conformed hierarchies can be shared among different facts, like customer, which is in the invoice fact and the order fact. Conformed hierarchies are extremely important in business intelligence. They allow users to avoid information silos and make a bridge among different KPIs in different areas, letting us share, like in this example, that two talk about the same customer. Menu Tools Going through the Indico Builder menu, let's have a look at the Tools menu. There are two important helpers that are called Bulk Edit Measures or Attributes. They allow you to edit in a tabular format and measures attributes, plus the Export Diagram to Image or to Excel. It allows you to export what you see for easier documentation. Reverse Engineering in case you already have a data warehouse and you don't want to start writing your DFM from scratch, there is a very important feature that's called reverse engineering. So, tools, reverse engineering. Here, I can select the database. I can type a connection string that I already have prepared. Then here, I can tune the algorithm so that it can infer the fact from the table names and the relationships between tables. So, I know that here is a naming convention like that. Then, I click Next. So, it connects with the database and shows me all the fact tables in this database. Let's select one as an example. Next. OK. So, I have the imported tables on the left side. I have the fact table here with all the other tables for the dimensions. And, clicking on a table here, I see how the DFM is created and expanded from a dimensional point of view. Of course, clicking Finish, I can export this DFM into my project. Generate Documentation A very important feature for the BI designers in the Tools menu is the Generate Documentation. This command generates a complete Microsoft Word documentation starting from a template that you can set here. Just click Generate. In a few seconds, Indico Builder generates a report like this with a lot of information and a lot of details about your project. Data Warehouse DFM Co Creation As you have seen, Indico Builder is pretty easy to understand, both for the BI expert and the end users. And it's very useful when you are, for example, in an analysis session. Suppose that you are here, in this order, and you are talking about adding a concept of geography. You could start adding a new dimension, that's geography. Or you could go to the conformed hierarchies, drag and drop the geography here, decide where to attach to the fact, and then talk and see if this geography is exactly what you are looking for in your analysis. This can be done both by the BI and by the end user. DFM Modeling Part 1 The DFM is a very expressive language. For example, here you can see what's called an optional attribute. 
Here you see descriptive attributes that are attributes that you want to see, but you don't necessarily need to analyze. Or here, you can see a multiple arc that models a many-to-many -many hierarchy. DFM Modeling Part 2 This is a very important phase in the design of a data warehouse because you start building what's called a business glossary. If I click on any attribute, I can add important information that can be used later, like a name, a description, a business ID, sample values that can help to understand what's inside this attribute. Autocomplete KPI. Talking about the KPIs inside a fact, you have a specific area in the properties tab, where, for example, you can edit a formula. A formula has the autocomplete features, so you always see what's inside your project, and you can get the right element you want to add. For any information, don't forget to follow us on our Indico website. You can follow us also on Twitter and on LinkedIn. The links are on our site. Plus, don't forget to visit our support center to open tickets, if needed, or to get information on the DFM or all the features.